Hi guys, West Country Explorer here. Welcome to this video. Today, what I thought I'd do is, I'm gonna take you to a few different little places. Last night I dug out this book, Curiosities of West Sussex. It's a little book I got from a second-hand shop in, uh, where was it, Bognor Regis, Haygate's Bookshop. And it's got a few little bits and pieces in there. It's a little bit out of date now, this book, because it's um, printed in the early 90s. So, but there's still some interesting stuff in there that we can visit. So I thought today I'll take you to some of the curiosities mentioned in the book and show you around a little bit of the local area. Well guys, I hope you enjoy it. See you in the main vid. <laughs> So what we have here, right close to a uh, sort of busy road, is a private house in Yapton that used to be a pub. The pub's name was Shoulder of Mutton and Cucumbers, which has uh, at one point in the Guinness Book of Records for being the longest pub name. There is one interesting incident that happened at this pub. I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but a Thatcher with the surname of Marley sold his wife, children and furniture to a rat catcher by the surname of White for the sum of seven shilling sixpence and a quart of beer. It's a bit of a cheap price for your wife and children. I'm not sure I'd be wanting to sell my wife or anything like that. As for how the pub got its name, I'm not sure. Shoulder and Mutton and Cucumbers is a bit of an unusual name for a pub. I'm guessing that maybe that was quite a popular dish at one point. Well, I'm at Walburton Church now. I'm in the graveyard. So I'll show you a couple of interesting gravestones. This one was a Charles Cook. If you have a look at this, it kind of tells you a bit of a story. There's Charles Cook. He got trapped and killed under a tree. There's the axeman who chopped the tree down. That's it. Father Time with his hourglass, scythe, a skeleton there with what looks like an arrow. And like angels, a couple of angels blowing their trumpets. I guess that's a scales, I guess that's a balance of life. A little angel with a scroll, I suppose that's a book of life. But yeah, Charles Cook killed by a tree. It was um, 20th of March 1767 he died. I'm going to show you another little gravestone. The one I'm going to show you now it took me a fair few minutes to find. But now that I know where it is, I can take you straight to it. It's quite interesting looking at old gravestones and Looking at the depictions on them, reading the inscriptions. Right now, this is very faint nowadays, so I don't know how well you're both. Can't see the writing, but you can just about make out the outline of what's going on, just about. Back on September 25th, 1802. Little eight year old girl, Anne Rusbridger, she was killed by a barrel falling off a cart. So I suppose that's like the person who was pushing the cart. There's the cart itself. And that's poor little Anne being killed by a cart, by the barrel falling out of the cart. So I probably wouldn't have 
known what this was what this was all about if I hadn't read about it because like I said it's very faded now yeah poor little man killed by a barrel They're quite a big graveyard anyway guys on to the next bit so here we are at Westergate, right by a very busy main road. Now, Basmati Indian restaurant, I think it's only relatively recently, within the last sort of five, ten years, it's become an Indian restaurant. Before that, it used to be a pub called Labour in Vain, which has a rather interesting pub sign. Yeah, as you can see, the pub sign depicted a white woman leaning over a little wooden bathtub and in the bathtub was a little black baby and the woman who was giving the black baby a good scrub sort of labour in vain in playing that she was trying to rub the blackness out of the kid's skin there was a story going around I don't know if it was a true story but I think it's probably just one of these fanciful stories so that said the woman in the sign was a landlady she had like gave birth to a black kid and it, rather than trying to explain to her husband how she's ended up giving birth to a black child she tried to wash the blackness out of the skin to make turn the baby into a white baby so as you can see a, a bit of a Politically incorrect sign. I'm not sure you could get away with having a pub sign like that nowadays. Well, just along the road from Westergate is Eastergate. Up there is the church. And this would have been Eastergate Manor, just there. But here we have an old granary. Not sure how old this is. Um, I think it's Tudor, I read, from the Tudor period. But as you can see, it's raised off of the floor, like to help keep the grain dry, stop it rotting, like keep it off the ground, and also help reduce the chance of rats and all that getting in. Don't see many of these around like this, I don't think. As you can see guys, quite an old granary. So, nice. Doors all locked up unsurprisingly. Don't want people going in. Don't blame them keeping it locked. But there, this would have been part of the manor area many centuries ago next to the church which is just up there well guys that's just four curiosities of West Sussex that I've done today there's loads more I'm sure if you guys know of any other curiosities and you'd like me to do a video on them feel free to drop a comment let me know Hope you enjoyed watching the video. I've certainly enjoyed being out and about on my bicycle, sort of doing a recording and finding out about these things. Like I said, look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. Not sure when it will be. The usual, guys, like, comment, whatever. Subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, stay safe, take care, and God bless.